change the Dexcom, we're going to need a new sensor, an alcohol wipe, and the phone or transmitter that's paired to it. You can see on this one, we've got all question marks. When we looked at the data, you can see it's really spotty and inaccurate, so it's time to change. And it's been more than seven days. So, we're gonna put this one right here on the arm. Okay, so first I'll clean the spot that the Dexcom will go here. Now, while it's drying, Get the new one out. I want to put it the, right in the middle of this. Okay. Right there? In the middle. Like right there? Okay. Right there. Okay, there we go. Now I've got the sensor, so I'm going to make sure it's all flat, ready. All flat. Now, these, it's, okay. it's easiest to partially pull it back here. Now, partially pull it back here. Now you're good to go. Take the whole thing off. Okay. So Bradley has it on his arm. He's ready for the insertion. This piece pushes it in. This piece allows us to take it out. And then now you just pinch this and it will come off. And now we are ready. I'll grab the transmitter. Okay, we have our transmitter that we're going to put into the, into the sensor. We wipe it off with alcohol. Make sure it's clean. And now we'll simply put it in here. Little these little forked end here goes up underneath there. Then this piece here helps us push it in. And you hear it click. It's in. Then this piece just twists to take it off. And there are two clicks to know that it's in. And now you're ready. Now on your on your phone or your transmitter, you're gonna start the two-hour warm-up period. During this time, you won't get any reading until it's done warming up and you'll give it uh, two blood sugar numbers into the phone and then it'll have an accurate number.